As someone who travels a lot, I've learned there are certain travel items that can really enhance your experience. And there are also items out there that claim to enhance your experience, but they're really just overpriced junk. And so in this video, I'm gonna share 10 travel items I love and personally use for travel. Some of these are investment pieces, but they're high quality and in my opinion, worth every penny. And if you're watching during the holiday season, there may or may not be some amazing deals going on right now. So be sure to check out the links below. First and very high on the list is a great set of noise canceling headphones. You can get a cheap set of headphones anywhere, right? But if you find yourself on the airplane more than even a couple times a year, a noise canceling set is a no brainer. Of course, a set of AirPod Pros are really hard to beat for minimalist travelers who wanna save space because they easily fit in your pocket. But for comfort and overall sound quality, I'm also a big fan of Sony's noise-canceling headphones. They obviously take up a little more space, but they're really comfortable, they have a long battery life, and absolutely are crucial for long flights. The next travel essential I think no one will regret investing in is a good power bank. We've reviewed a bunch of options here to weigh together, but lately I'm loving the Anchor MagGo Ultra. Anchor makes really high quality charging gear and this power bank charges ultra fast. You can charge with 30 watt USB-C or 15 watt Qi 2 wireless charging capability. So whether you need to charge your laptop or your iPhone, this 10,000 milliamp hour power bank is super powerful and pretty compact for travel. Speaking of compact, I like to travel with a simple charging station so I don't have to manage so many wires and cables. And I'm incredibly impressed with this three-in-one station by Anchor. This thing takes up way less space than the charging station I have at home, and the foldable design packs down to the size of a set of AirPods. Less space, fewer cords, big win. The next travel item you'll never regret investing in is quality carry-on luggage. And notice, I'm not saying expensive luggage or luxury luggage. Most people honestly don't need Ramoa or Tumi. Like, you, you just don't. But I also think if you travel more than once or twice a year, you shouldn't just use a suitcase from Walmart. You can do really well for between $150 and $300 in my experience. That's gonna get you higher quality materials, and in a lot of cases, a lifetime warranty. A few recommendations. Let me start with suitcases. For hard-sided suitcases, I think Monos is very hard to beat. We've used their carry-ons for years now, and we've taken them to over 20 countries, and they've held up great. The shell is sturdy and dent-resistant, and the telescoping handle is arguably the best on the market. The bag has smooth and quiet wheels that do surprisingly well even on cobblestones. And in a big comparison of several of the top hard-sided bags on the market, the Monos just crushed it. For soft-sided bags, Travel Pro makes amazing bags, and so does Briggs & Riley. Very respected names in the business and very well deserved. Now, if you're more of a backpack person, it really depends on your needs, but in general, I'd look for a bag between 35 and 45 liters made with quality materials, and ideally, one that doesn't look super outdoorsy and hikery. I just tested 10 of the most popular backpacks on the market, and if you want the full breakdown, be sure to check out that video. We worked super hard on it. But spoiler alert, I think almost no one would regret investing in the Air Travel Pack 3. It's not my personal favorite, that's the Peak Design 45 liter. That bag just has a special place in my heart, but I do think the Air Travel Pack 3 is a better fit for the majority of travelers out there, and at the price point, it's basically unmatched. One thing I haven't traveled without in the past 10 years is merino wool clothing. I first tried merino wool socks in like 2015 and I was instantly hooked. And then when Allie and I were preparing to travel full time, I invested in some merino wool shirts to help me cut down my packing list. Now the reason I say invested in, and frankly the reason I'm mentioning merino in this video, is merino wool clothing is not cheap. It's a bit of a splurge. But I really love merino wool for travel because you can re-wear it and because it helps you cut down your packing list. I look at it as one shirt equals three shirts. I also personally like it because I get cold pretty easily and the temperature regulating aspect of merino wool makes it easy to stay warm. My company of choice for merino wool clothing is Unbound Merino because they make these products specifically with travelers in mind. And at the time of filming this video, you can get up to 40% off everything Unbound Merino makes. They run one sale a year and it is 
massive. So if you've been thinking about getting some key merino pieces for your travel wardrobe, I would hit the link below. Something you'll never regret having when you need it is a quality rain jacket. And for travel, I really recommend a packable rain jacket. I bought this one earlier this year and adore it. It's the Helium Rain Jacket by Outdoor Research and it packs down so small. Now the problem with a lot of packable jackets out there is they really aren't rain jackets. They soak through super fast. But this one actually has taped seams and it's truly designed to stand up to the rain. I've seen reviews where people have tested this jacket like standing under a shower head for five minutes without any leaks. Now, there are for sure more intense rain jackets out there, but they're not gonna be as packable as this guy. So if you're planning to be in a monsoon for two weeks, this one probably isn't right for you. But if let's say you're visiting London and you need something to quickly pull out of your bag when the rain starts, I think this one's a great option. It is an investment at $170, but as far as rain jackets go, that's a reasonable price. And with outdoor research, you're also buying their infinite guarantee lifetime warranty. It's available in 12 color options and it has amazing reviews. Hey, if you've gotten value out of this video, I would love it if you'd hit that like button so that YouTube knows to suggest it to other travelers like you. Thank you. I like having one simple place to keep all my cables and chargers and cords, and I like to keep it in a pretty quick access place in my carry-on bag or personal item. It just makes it easy when you're on a long flight, when you need your headphones or your power bank or whatever. And a simple tech pouch is the way to go. Personally, I think a small tech pouch does the job because some of the full-size ones get a little bit bulky. I really like Peak Design's new small tech pouch. Although it's small, it doesn't lack organization. It's got origami style pockets, little elastic loops for things like a pen, little slip pockets for SD cards, spot for cables, your power bank. And the exterior fabric is a weatherproof 400D recycled nylon. It opens wide, it's easy to pack, and it keeps things where you need them. Something no traveler will ever regret is having the ability to look back on their travel experiences. And I am so grateful that I decided to start lugging a camera around with me and videoing our travels a few years ago. Because now, this is my job, thanks to you guys. Seriously, thank you so much. But B, because Lord willing, 50 years from now, we can look back on this chapter in our life and remember what we got up to. So having a decent camera and knowing how to use it is invaluable in my mind. And by the way, I'm not about to try and sell you a $3,000 camera. But here are a few easy and low stress low maintenance ideas for you. Number one, your phone. I recently upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro and we've been filming a lot of our travels with just that. The ProRes looks amazing. In fact, most of the top-down shots and all the UK footage you're seeing in this video was shot on an iPhone. I'm also super impressed with the DJI Osmo 3. One of the problems with video is shaky footage. Go watch some of our old vlogs and just see how shaky that is. This thing has a built-in gimbal, so no matter how much you move, it's steady. And it's quite compact, too. I'm very impressed with this little vlogging setup. And it's much more palatable for an entry-level vlogger. Now, a little bit more expensive, but personally, my favorite way to experience a place is using a drone. I have the DJI Air 2S, and there's newer models now, but what I love about the Air series is they pack down really, really small. Okay, this isn't a piece of gear by any means, but it is something that makes travel 10 times better. It's trusted traveler programs like TSA Pre and Global Entry, and really the gift is getting your time back. TSA Pre lets you get through airport security in the US way faster with less hassle. Typically, you don't have to take your shoes off, you don't have to take your laptop out, you get your own line, and it usually moves quicker. It costs $85 for five years. Global entry gets you back into the United States faster when you're returning from an international trip, and you don't have to stand in the same long lines that everyone else does. Global entry costs $100 every five years. But if you get global entry, they just give you TSA Pre as well. So $100 and you get both of them. I actually made a whole video about how to get global entry and there's a lot of credit cards that give it to you for free as well. I'll link both of those resources below. The last premium travel essential worth every penny is lounge access. One easy and relatively affordable way to get lounge access is by getting a Priority Pass membership. Priority Pass is a network of over 1,600 airport lounges worldwide and it makes it very easy for you to have a comfortable place to sit, 
with fast Wi-Fi, a charging station, food and drink, and in many cases, even a shower. We've been to a ton of Priority Pass lounges all over the world, and it's a perk that we really enjoy. Now, there's a ton of other ways to get lounge access, and in many cases, even for free. So if you're interested in learning more, check out my video on that topic here. Thank you so much for watching. Happy travels.